Hey y'all, Alexis here. Thank you for joining me for our daily devotion and our morning prayer. Okay y'all, so today we're going to be discussing don't let what they said deter you from what God said. Let me tell you something about me. If they can't see it, they can't believe it. No uh, shade against them, but many times people just like that. Unknowingly, their faith is being crushed, it's been diminished, it's been put on the back burner because they were believing for something that God didn't do because they didn't seek Him first. They just said, God bless my mess. And in turn, they become bitter and salty with God. And now they like, girl, God ain't finna do that for you. That can't happen. But you can't, you have to be careful of letting people and their comments and their little faith. Because y'all remember, y'all the prayer warriors of y'all family, of y'all friends. Y'all the ones that's praying, seeking God, going to another level. You know, going, taking the extra mile to get God's word in you, right? So you have another level of authority. You have another level of revelation. You have another level of understanding about what God is doing in your life. So sometimes we have people along the journey with us. They walk on the journey with us. You know, they with us, but they not on the same level. So we'll get that counsel. And sometimes we'll be like, well, God, can you do it? Yeah, he can. Yes, he will. But don't let what they said deter you. It's okay. Every man's experience with God might be different. But God said it. So he's going to do it. So that's why it's important to send yourself in the morning. Pray in the morning. Seek God in the morning. See what he's saying concerning that situation. See what he's saying concerning what he's going to do in your life first. Center with him first. So get in your prayer time and center with him first. So when the stuff comes, it's going to bounce off of you. But if you let... God give you a dream and you don't even center yourself. You ain't write it down. You ain't concrete in it. It's still rocky. And you go out there and tell it, they're going to crush it because you ain't got no foundation. So don't let what people say. Don't let your circumstances. Don't let your pocket. Don't let what you see in front of you confuse you. Don't let it deter you. Don't let it get you out of focus of what God said because he's still going to do it. He's still going to provide. It's still the promise. It's just for a point of time. And when that point of time comes, you're going to receive it. It's going to take you where you need to be. So trust what God said. Trust his promises. Okay. That's our prayer today. Lord, we just thank you for today. We thank you for everyone watching. We thank you for this word that went forth. God, we thank you for the people that you see in our life. But sometimes they faith ain't as strong as it needs to be. God, we pray that you grow their strength, grow their faith, grow their understanding. But at the same time, give us the grace to understand that what you said was staying regardless of what they said. Even though we love them to death, God, we want to be wise enough to take your counsel first, root in that, and be solid in it, and don't let the waves deter us and get us off track for what you said. Lord, it's yes and amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. All right, y'all, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll see y'all tomorrow. And for more information about the prayer handbook and our ministry, go to www.theprayerhandbook.com. See y'all soon. Bye.